means we can still have fun if we're abiding by the laws and we can enjoy some fireworks. And that's what we're going to be doing this morning uh, as we continue to go live with Lou Seipolt this morning. How about first time ever on TV, some daytime fireworks. We are here with Jeremiah Tierharka. He's with the Iowa Fireworks Company. You've seen him on the program yep. with us uh, earlier, uh, last a couple of weeks or so. One of the busiest guys in the state yes. of Iowa right now. How many different locations do you guys have? We've got 43 all over the state. All over the state. And so business is booming, so to speak. We're, we're uh, making it happen, yes. What about, we're also with Lucy. Say hi to Lucy. Wave to the camera, Lucy. There hi. She, she's just observing here today. Yes. But what we are going to do is we're going to uh, have a dream come true here. For the past 20 years, folks, if you listened on the radio, we had daytime fireworks. Uh, we had a lot of fun. People saw them from, oh, as far away, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, as Story City, the Missouri yep. border, things like that. But now we are going to show you daytime fireworks courtesy of That's Iowa right. Fireworks Company. We appreciate that so much. But what are we going to show? Let's walk over here yeah, and show you what we're going to do. Over. What you want to keep in mind is that when you're shooting things off like this, what, yes. uh, you want to make sure you're in an area that is clear. Yes. You want to make sure that there's a lot of space around where you are. And that's what you selected right here, right? Yes, plenty of distance from buildings and uh, make sure you're at a safe distance. Uh, also with these cakes, they pack a lot of power. So you re we really recommend bricking them okay, and let's setting see things. Over here, Chris, so see what he's talking about here. We're talking about bricking them. Something yep. you may not have thought about. So what do we have here? First of all, what do you have bricked so up here? I've specifically brought some uh, daytime fireworks today. So these have a lot of extra smoke and you can actually see them in the daytime. Look at that, for daytime use, they really do have daytime fireworks, yeah. folks. How cool is that? So this is uh, called Captain Sam. So. And we that's can. available at your stand? Uh, these are available at all the stands, okay. yeah. All right, very good. So we we'll put that down, but you have it bricked up to keep it from tipping over. Yes. Being on the safe side. Now, what do you have behind you here? So these are called mortar shells, and you uh, put these in the mortar tubes, and then these go way up in the sky. So these are, uh, uh, these are called Star Spangled Banners here. Okay. Bangers. And then we've got a few other uh, varieties. We've actually been, with having so many locations, we've been working on our own line of fireworks over this winter. Okay, this is called Meet Your Maker. Now, do you just light one fuse on this and then it goes? Yes, yeah, so you light one fuse and it's got... Okay, it's over here on this side here. Yep, okay. you light the fuse and it's got 25 different shots in it and it'll go one by one. Also, I recommend pulling these off. It'll keep your yard a lot cleaner for paper. Oh, okay. So the, the paper covering that they have yes. on there. And they have some smaller ones. Here's the one that we showed. Uh, Jackie, here's the one that we had on the air with us. This is the one you have on the counter, as a matter of fact. So if you want to really have some fun, uh, maybe you could take the one you have on the counter, Jackie, and then when Brian Vance, uh, uh, Fire Chief Brian Vance, lights these off, you can light them off simultaneously. It can be like stereo. That'd be, no, yep. don't do that inside, okay? <laughs> but we're going to light this one out yes. here, right? That sounds okay, great. There's the fuse hey, on this one here. Ask me if I light it for us. <laughs> uh, this is called a motor mouth, and these have a bunch of fast firing shots that go up into the sky, so it makes a lot of noise. Okay, wonderful. All right, so uh, Fire Chief Vance is over here. He's going to come over, and we are going to light these things up. Where are some of the locations uh, of your. We have them all over the metro. So uh, one would be Pleasantville Y at, at 92 and 5 intersection. We have them down in Indianola by Walgreens. Okay. Des Moines, 2nd and College Avenue. Okay. Grimes on 141. So all over the place. All right, just look for the, the, the red, white, look and blue. For, look for the Iowa Fireworks Company and the Eagle. Okay, look for the Eagle, folks, and you'll be able to find the company that's providing the first ever daytime fireworks live on TV, folks. Nobody's ever shown this before, but we're going to do it now. Which one do you suggest uh, to light first? Because we want to have a, a big crescendo. I'd say we start with Captain Sam first here. Captain Sam over here. Now, uh, the wick is over on the far side here, so Brian Chief Vance is going to light the wick, and there's because it's Captain Sam, and this is so cool. Daytime fire. Fireworks on CW Iowa Live. Brian has it going. We're going to step back and show you what's going to happen here. You want fireworks, folks. Here we go. Up in the air. Daytime fireworks. How cool is that? Jeremiah, how many shots are in this one? I believe this one has 25. 25. Well, they got little parachutes coming. Can you see that? They got yep. little parachutes on them. That is really cool. So, so those are going up there. That is awesome. Let's go back over. While these are finishing up, we're going to light some more of them off here. So Chief Vance is over here. Jeremiah, let's yep. go back over here. While that continues. Now, what is a safe distance? Is this a safe distance that we're all right now from them? We're a little closer than you want to be okay, even. Okay, we'll so. stand back a little bit. What, and you see a little American flags on the little parachute things here too. So Chief Vance is going to light another one and get out of the way. And hey, look, that one's got a smoke. Like a little smoke bomb on it too. 
There's a bigger one going way, way up. Wonderful. Now, do we have to reload the, the those, tube? Those reload, yes. Okay, so you guys take, take another one another and reload one. that one. Chief Vance is going to light another one, then step back. Now, how many are going to be in this one here? The one he's lighting uh, this up. This will have about 40 of them, but it'll go 40 fast. 40 of them in this one here. Now, which one should we do next, Jeremiah? Uh, do the King of Pirates. That's the another good Pirates, daytime right next one. To you, Brian. That one right there, the King of the Pirates. Now, how many are going to be in this one? I believe that's uh, 20. 20. 20 are going to be in the King of the Pirates. <laughs> oh, get that. Watch that. That is awesome. Folks, you're getting fireworks at CW Iowa Live. That is so <laughs> cool. And uh, what do we have left, Jeremiah? Uh, we could uh, do another, do another uh, meet your maker there. Do it, the meet your maker. Yep. Okay, the meet your maker is what's coming up next here. Brian's gonna light. Let's step back. Let's get back away from here. Fire. There you go. That is uh, Meet Your Maker. Yep. Now, Jeremiah, for uh, price points, when people are looking for some of these things, uh, what do you think a, a decent display? Uh, so, what, what can somebody uh, get? Yeah. So that Meet Your Maker that you just saw was $38. Okay. Uh, the little Midwest Mayhem, which I think we'll save Hang that on, Brian. for. That's thirteen dollars. Okay, thirteen for the for the midnight mayhem. Yeah. Really? Yeah, well, thirteen ninety-seven. That's price. Yes. There you go. All right, we'll try another one here. We you just loaded another shell in there. So yep. Chris, see if you can get this one coming up out of the tube and uh, finish this off with a bang as it goes up. <laughs> Boom! There it is. This is is again. This is going to be, but you have to do it in a safe manner. That's correct, uh, Jeremiah. That's one of the things that you guys stress, isn't it? Yep. Now, uh, we, did we light up everything yet, yet, or do we have one more to go? Yeah, one more, two. One yep. more to go? One more, we do Midwest Mayhem if you and have time. And then Midwest Mayhem to finish off, which is right here in the middle, which is the one uh, that Jackie uh, has on the desk. Okay, so this, you can see right here, uh, Jackie has that one on her desk right now. So this is the one we wanted to see what it was like. Yes. And what does Midwest Mayhem cost? So this is $13.97. Okay, and 97 cents. So we're yep. gonna put it here. Now watch what he's gonna do. He's gonna put it, put it uh, safely here in the brick. The, the brick area. So Brian, so we're gonna be able, this is gonna be a good finale for us? Yep, that'll work just fine. It's gonna be a great finale, folks, as we Light have daytime fireworks on CW Iowa Live as Brian Vance, Chief Vance from the Northern Warren Fire Department lights it up and we say happy 4th of July to everyone as uh, Midwest Mayhem from Iowa Fireworks Company gets underway and just that simple to show you the fireworks, the daytime fireworks on CW Iowa Live. That is awesome. What a great time this is. How about fireworks on the 4th of July live on TV right here in Des Moines. Folks, have yourself a great 4th. We'll see you after the holiday. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jackie's going to meet the oh guys God. out back in the parking lot. They got their lighter. We're excited. And, and off, off we go. I just need a lighter and a little bit more headroom, and we can make that happen. Thank you, Lou. Uh, thank you to Iowa Fireworks Company and everyone. Yes, we were legally able to do that at that location and had all the safety crew on scene. But where else can you see daytime fireworks <laughs> but right here in CWI Iowa Live?